Yes, sir. Mark Spencer. Uh, well, Mom always told me less is more, and on a hot summer day in Phoenix, that probably is a great wisdom in that. So. I bet you I'll be the best speaker up here today because I'll be the shortest. Uh, that makes the difference. You know, uh, Judicial Watch, we are a, a proactive government watchdog group. We're based out of Washington, D.C., and I carry the ball for them out here west of the Mississippi. Uh, Arizona has a, a national reputation of setting the pace as far as good, aggressive legislation that's pro-citizen. Judicial Watch is clearly pro-rule of law. We're clearly secure borders, and we're clearly concerned about this Second Amendment issue that's being uh, uh, lodged against uh, citizens in our country today. Phoenix was a natural place for uh, Judicial Watch uh, to, to develop even deeper roots. We have great friendships with Joe Arpaio. Currently, we're working with a county attorney, Bill Montgomery, in addressing medical marijuana issues. Uh, we've worked with Russell Pierce in the past for a secure border. It was three years ago this week, I had the privilege of standing behind Governor Brewer as she signed Senate Bill 1070. And here, three years later, Phoenix is at a 30-year low crime rate with over 600 police vacancies on top of it. Uh, I think common sense legislation that's proactive when it comes to the rule of law makes sense. And that's what Judicial Watch clearly supports. We carry at Judicial Watch the, uh, the heavy burden of litigation as far as pursuing uh, conservative causes and conservative issues. Uh, there are some threats out there that are quite subtle, but it's the subtle issues that can be the most dangerous. It's those threats that we can't see that cause the most harm. And on the Second Amendment front, it's important for me to remind you and tell you what we're engaged in. There's a mayor from New York, I think his name is Bloomberg. Hey. Now, I didn't say Phil Gordon, I said Bloomberg. <laughs> Same thing. Mayor Bloomberg has initiated a group, it's called MAG, M-A-I-G, it's Mayors Against Illegal Guns. Mayors Against Illegal Guns, and we're concerned with what's taking place there because MAG is underwriting positions in major cities across the country in the offices of the mayors of those cities. MAG will fund a portion of that position while the taxpayers fund the rest of the rest of the position. So what's taking place is on the taxpayer dollar, MAG is getting their message out. And here's what these aides or these attendants in the mayor's office are tasked to do. One, working to pass state or county laws requiring background checks for all gun sales at gun shows. And two, working to pass a state law allowing broader local government control of gun laws. I'm not confident that's the investment that you and I wanted to make as taxpayers. But yet that's what happens, and it's, it's subtle things like that that needs to be addressed that can become serious issues later on. So it is a great privilege to be here and let you know there are things happening, uh, certainly at a litigative level, that are important. And there's someone on your side taking care of it. Uh, I want to commend you today. It is hot. I think we have families. I think we have jobs. I think we get tired. I think we work hard. But you take the effort to be here. And it's a great encouragement, and I want to continue to encourage you. And I truly, truly hope that God blesses you, and I'll pray for you in your endeavors. Have a great day.